if, if you ever come to a place and you're at a fork in the road and you don't know what to do to make a decision or get energy or whatever, besides prayer, declutter something. Because what that saying is, your mind and your soul is cluttered and it needs to release something. It needs to create space so that you can have clarity. So whatever you need to do to create space, some people it's go for a walk, some people it's clean out a drawer, cheese drawer, <laughs> but it's whatever that looks like to create space. And for some people it's, I need to go do something fun. I've been so functional for so long. I've got to just go do something super like spontaneous and just for the fun of it and not even think about calories or, or, you know, plan things or cost or anything. I just need to go do something joyful and something fun. So yeah, get out of zombie mode. I love that. So that's exactly right. I, I would encourage you to create some space. So whether that's a physical space that we're talking about, if you know, name those spaces, your sacred space, or maybe it's your fun space or workout space. And then maybe it's emotional space. There's a book I really enjoy. It's called The 12 Stages of Healing. It's Donald Epstein. And he talks about the 12 stages of healing and how we kind of go through it cyclically. And you even see it in movies and you see it in fairy tales and you see it in those things of, we have to start with suffering and then and then we kind of were in we go through some different stages we're stuck and then we want to release and then we have to release and sometimes that means we get sick and we're releasing things or you know we're whatever it might be to just deep breaths even sometimes of just like to just get something out and then there's empty space from which we can create and i thought this was a great point he made that he said you know the number zero when you think about it what does that mean what does that look like it's just open space right it's just open space but when you put zero onto the end of something what does it do it multiplies it adds it it regenerates it makes it more by just that empty space so i loved that idea that and when you think about a zero it's whole it's round it's complete it's it's not nothing it's it's holding space for something and when we're intentional about what we choose to put in that space, then it becomes energy rich, whether we just keep it a space or we do something with that.